Welcome friends. Good afternoon. So this uh, tutorial is uh, for PSM1 uh, preparation tips and tricks. Uh, PSM uh, level 1 uh, basically stands for uh, professional scum master certification uh, level 1. So in this particular tutorial uh, I would like to highlight uh, 5 points as below. Uh, what is a scum? Uh, where it is used? Uh, who can appear for this certification? Preparation tips and how to register for this certification. So friends, uh, good news is uh, I availed uh, the certifications a uh, couple of months back and if you also uh, search um, uh, with your name, once you completed the certifications uh, successfully, you will be able to uh, view your profile here uh, mentioning the fact that you have earned the certification. And here uh, I would like to uh, share some of my experience, tips and tricks uh, which I um, mm, uh, I try to uh, achieve throughout my uh, preparations and if you like this video uh, I can go in details uh, about the SCAM methodology and all but in this particular tutorial I will not go into details of what is SCAM and all uh, I will just um, uh, explain you uh, whatever the tips and tricks which I uh, found helpful uh, during my preparation. So uh, let's come to uh, what is Scrum. So uh, the Professional Scrum Master Level 1 is an online low cost lifetime certification provided by the Scrum.org. Uh, Scrum uh, basically is a process framework uh, where a user can incorporate the process or technique to develop complex uh, sustainable product. So basically Scrum is uh, not a, a methodology or technique or definite methods uh, which is something defined or set of rules by which you can just uh, create any products or any output of your day-to-day -day life. So you need to remember on this uh, very well. And in traditional uh, uh, project management where uh, uh, in the past uh, the, we used to create the entire plan end to end. Uh, for example, a project will go uh, for one year and the entire project was uh, planned uh, from initially uh, what will be done in which phases uh, basically in waterfall models if you see the entire plan was done uh, from the beginning the every product component when it will be delivered it's planned also so every plan was done at the beginning and the disadvantage on this uh, planning the entire project is that uh, at the end when your product is coming out it may not be competitive in the market um, in the during the projects also uh, many phases or output uh, of the uh, product may not be relevant uh, in the current uh, uh, demands in the market so uh, uh, eventually what will happen uh, this uh, uh, this requirement will become irrelevant and obsolete uh, and also there are problems like if uh, the project owner or the stakeholder wants to uh, engage uh, new requirements um, on the ongoing on the demand of ongoing markets and all they cannot um, employ or inputs in that uh, also uh, because the, everything was planned for this kind of projects and uh, therefore they cannot engage the new request new um, requirement to the products. So the answer for this all this disadvantage is basically the scrum. In scrum basically the entire product uh, or the requirements is split into different small sprints and sprint length may be um, the sprint length may be starting from uh, one week to four weeks. So from here friends you can understand the uh, entire any project is basically split into small, small sprints and the risk is very low and here the team size for scrum is also very less it starts from three to nine uh, in order to have better control and the coordinations uh, into the team and also into the spin work as well here in every sprints it goes on in incremental and recurrent way 
and in uh, at the end of each sprint uh, there is an increment created this increment is basically nothing but a potentially releasable uh, um, products which can be released but it is not necessary that in every sprints uh, uh, the product owner will in, uh, i mean release this into the market it depends on the product owner owner's decisions uh, uh, and the coordination taken between the product owner and the uh, stakeholders so uh, my dear friends uh, i am not going into details what is scrum and all i will mention about the, what is uh, the scrum gu guide and where you can get that to read it and you will get all those details of scrum method uh, scrum process and the rules uh, the different uh, roles of uh, um, this uh, scrum and now uh, let's uh, come to the point number 2 where it is used this certification is nowadays very essential for those who are working on agile based projects okay and this is not just a certification for managerial or technical people who should adopt this but anyone uh, involved in any projects or managing any institutions offices schools marketing research almost in every working places it can be used and adopted so uh, uh, from the term terminology we often uh, judge that uh, this is from uh, only is applicable for technical activities or IT industry and all but you will be interested and um, to know that this scrum can be applied anywhere in real life problems and in real life process to find out the best output out of it now uh, who can uh, appear for the certifications anyone can appear for this certification no degree is required for the certification so in this article i also put some um, data uh, from the scum.org manuals you will get these details uh, from there as well so here uh, from these uh, definitions i just wanted to mention one thing this scrum is basically based on empirical process okay uh, the let me de describe what is empiricisms empiricisms basically uh, the knowledge that comes from the experience and the making decision based on what is known so in scrum every decisions is taken uh, based on what is known so we cannot just plan something what is not known or uh, uh, something we are not aware uh, so during the sprint planning and all or during the implementation of such things uh, we would never uh, um, adopt something which is not known we will always go through uh, uh, such things or during the planning or adopting what is only known and what is and this uh, known things uh, comes uh, basically from the experience experience suggests what is already implemented in previous uh, projects or any previous uh, scope okay so this is the one important things i just like to highlight so the best tips is that uh, you should not uh, memorize uh, these guidelines but rather you should memorize with the concepts you need to conceptualize the scrum guide uh, to adopt the scrum skills and uh, my dear friend just please do not um, appear this exam to pass it but rather uh, you should um, learn it earn it and apply into your different projects So uh, I, I will go now in a step-by-step um, -step process what you need to follow uh, in order to prepare for this uh, certification. So uh, step one is uh, read the actual guide at the below link uh, where you can download the PDF version. So I have uh, put it in this uh, uh, manual. Uh, this is the official uh, scrum guide um, you can download and, and the best thing is that if you can print it out and put handy with you it's the best thing um, because this way it will be very handy uh, you can read anytime and you can also um, understand uh, it very well uh, and this um, um, Ma manual is basically uh, developed by the creator uh, Ken Shower and Jeff Shutterland. Um, I would uh, recommend you to read this uh, 
documents or this manual this is the only manual and uh, I can say if you read this manual properly it is sufficient for the preparations there are a lot of other online manuals um, and also in supported uh, uh, with this uh, uh, actual uh, um, uh, guidelines uh, they uh, you can find a lot of other um, directions and the descriptions uh, uh, describing this scrum but uh, uh, there is chances this is my personal opinion that you might get uh, confused at the day end uh, if you read the other manuals and also but so that's why i would recommend you you go through only this guideline um, by the scrum creator and this is the best thing if you can read twice in a day for at least 10 to 15 days uh, you can memorize as well as conceptualize the scrum skills okay so uh, once you are confident uh, consecutively reading for a couple of days uh, you should um, attend for free assessments from scrum.org so if you visit the scrum.org uh, you will get uh, a drop down options uh, to attend three assessments one is scrum open product owner open scrum developer developer open you should attend all these three online mock-up tests and you should uh, gain at least 100 percent every time prior to attending the P psm1 certifications okay and uh, here the question patterns uh, which i'm not saying uh, exactly will appear into the uh, real uh, um, certification exams you will get many answers common from here uh, but uh, you have to understand the meaning of each questions very properly you need to look at or observe the while the questions appear during the certification uh, where it can be used can or maybe so because of using these two words the answers will differ so you need to be very careful while reading the uh, questions uh, what I found uh, from my experience is that the same questions uh, appeared in the actual um, certification uh, in a different way. Okay, uh, so you need to you just don't need to memorize uh, the questions, uh, and otherwise there is chances to fail. There is one uh, reference um, um, mock-up online mock-up test URL which I found here, which was very also uh, helpful for me. Uh, you will get a um, lot of questions out here uh, let me show you so here uh, if you open this link um, here you will get um, some questions if you start the quiz from here uh, you will uh, get to have 80 questions here uh, sorry I can see 87 now so you can prepare uh, the mock-up test from here that was pretty good actually there are other lot of online sites uh, where you can uh, purchase uh, for mock-up test but which i would not personally recommend because the answers may not comply with the actual answers from scum.org uh, so there is no guarantee of actual answers from those sites as well but if you get to have some different quizzes uh, online free or quizzes basically you can go for that so once your preparation is done the last thing is that registration so don't hurry to do the registration because it is just a five minutes process and this certification costs around 150 USD uh, and this is uh, if you have just a credit card uh, it will be done in uh, five minutes uh, before that you need to register into scrum.org to create your profile and once you register for any certification here you will get a confirmation email with the uh, code uh, and this code which you need to put while you start the exam uh, there is no time um, limit uh, of expiry of this url uh, you can attend this exam anytime but still uh, I would uh, recommend you you only register once you feel confident and you feel that you are ready for the exam okay so during the uh, test uh, I would like to give you some tips as follows 
um try to give it in the morning time uh, during the 10 o'clock because that time your brain uh, used to keep relaxed and refreshed do not uh, overthink uh, because overthinking um, uh, can make you confused keep patience uh, at the same time do not waste time for one questions for long time uh, one thing i would like to tell you here there would be total uh, 80 questions and out of which you need to correct at least 68 questions uh, this means uh, you need to acquire 85 percent in order to pass this exam uh, in 60 minutes time uh, here uh, I would like to tell you an important thing uh, while you are attending for different mock-up test you will feel very easily uh, could manage the time to complete within 40-45 uh, minutes even in 30 minutes but in the actual uh, certification it seems like you not get much time and uh, this time is really the big factor here you may uh, answer many questions but you may not cope up with the time so you need to be very careful while, while attending each and every questions even though in this particular exam you need to read carefully every sentence and word but at the same time you need to uh, keep uh, an eye on your time if you're feeling that any questions is taking longer time just please mark it in a paper and just uh, uh, come back later on once uh, every questions are done and you can just uh, also review uh, your um, answers uh, later on but do not press the submit button once you submit the button you will not be able to um, review any questions further uh, the next tips is uh, do not try to search answer in google or anywhere uh, opening a new tab otherwise your um, uh, uh, certification uh, will be stopped and you will not be able to attempt anymore and the other thing is that even if you are not uh, opening and you if you try to search uh, in mobile in any other devices about the answers uh, it is a waste of time as well because the you would not get exactly uh, the questions in any sites this questions uh, you need to analyze and understand the scrum guide only and from there the questions um, will be asked uh, maybe in a different way so here you need to uh, here it is the importance of understanding the uh, concepts and uh, the next is um, there would be um, multiple answers required for many questions so it is very crucial that you uh, read uh, every uh, options properly it may seem to you all answers are right and it is also the fact that in many cases every question will be correct but you need to uh, choose the best three out of four or best out of four options so the, for this kind of a situation you need to analyze very well uh, for this kind of uh, uh, question answers during your preparation only now uh, I would like to um, go through few questions uh, from the scum.org uh, to uh, analyze and discuss with you guys the first question you can see here the CEO asks the development team to add a very important item to a sprint that is in progress. Uh, what should the development team do? So it seems like uh, the C since he is a CEO and the owner of the company, he can, um, I mean, uh, order or for suggestions and he can manipulate anything um, apparently. But it is not the case in Scrum. It is strictly prohibited that outside the uh, scum roles uh, no one can interfere inside the program or any project even if he is CEO he needs to connect through the product owner uh, who is basically the contact point between the uh, stakeholders and outside the team members okay and uh, it should go via the product owner only so the question answer is the B okay uh, also it seems the other answers like for example if you see the last answer add the item to the next sprint it is also relevant answer but the it should come through the product owner only so here the case is the uh, prior, i mean more uh, prior answer is uh, then the last item is product owner okay 
because here the chances are there if sometimes a product owner or maybe the project manage, manager or any other um, organization people are coming every time and giving their inputs to change something within the projects there is huge chances that it the project would get messed up and uh, and in a scrum it is strictly prohibited once the sprint planning is done and the sprint work is started then the product backlog items and new requirements cannot uh, be added or change uh, only the uh, within the sprint only the development team is responsible for making and updating the change but um, once the product from the uh, spin planning is done and put all the items taken from the product backlog item it cannot be changed but to let you know um, there is a misconception here that within the uh, sprint uh, the development team is solely responsible for estimating making any change or making sub task out of any items it is their sole responsibility because if any work uh, is lengthened they might feel that it needs to be splitted so those activities can be done but this is not a, something a new requirement where CU can involve and can add in the ongoing sprints okay so this is very important you need to know and let's ne let's go to the next questions here uh, it is asked select the uh, three incorrect or misleading stat statements about the scrum so this kind of questions is also very confusing here you can see uh, my dear friends uh, last two options scrum based in empirical process so, so i already described this uh, scrum is based on empirical process and even if you go through the guidelines you will get this so this is true scrum is a framework that eliminates complexity this is also true because scrum is used to used to build a complex product uh, products so these are the true so uh, also uh, scrum is a framework for developing sustaining complex products this is also true so once you find out the true you will uh, minus it uh, from the um, whole list of, whole list and you will get the wrong answers so now uh, if you can see the scrum is a methodology so as i described a scrum is not a methodology or defined process okay so this is incorrect uh, scrum is like a traditional processes uh, with self organizing to replace the project managers okay so um, this is also not true because this is not a traditional processes okay so here you can see select this two but you need to select one more okay uh, so scrum um, here uh, you can see Mm. okay i left one the option c each component of scrum serves a specific purpose uh, and essential to scrum success and you uses uh, of scrum to develop complex product so you can uh, select uh, okay th that is that is also true actually uh, uh sorry uh, the first one you have already selected its methodology it's uh, it's incorrect then the scrum is like traditional is incorrect you have selected two and now you need to select one more uh, okay so yeah you can select uh, see here is a tricky question sir. so this moment i will not go into this confirming uh, but probably it seems like uh, the option c okay so um, let's go to the next questions okay <laughs> instead of uh, losing time in this case uh, sorry guys i am also not able to find out the answer uh, correct answer options from here so how much work must a development team to do a product backlog item it selects for a sprint okay so here um, uh, still the priority is um, it seems like as much as it can fit into sprint it is also a fact and correct answer but before that is a more correct answer is uh, it should go through the product owner okay so product owner will decide like um, uh, I mean he should to he should be to I mean uh, give a directions how much product backlog items should um, fit into that 
okay and uh, and also uh, after that the developer uh, development team will basically select the item from the product backlog um, into the sprint backlog based on uh, the estimations and the capability the development team feel that they can do and as per the definition of done so this is very important the definition of done is basically uh, uh, creates the potentially releasable product so it should comply always with the definition of done so if you are developing any projects and it has it doesn't have any directions how does it look like once this product is finished in every out at the end of sprints so there should have a common uh, understanding what is definition done by the each team members including the including the product owner scrum master everyone okay so the right answer is option last option uh, the next questions uh, let us um, discuss who is responsible for managing the progress of work during a sprint okay so uh, this is the answer is development team so here friends i would like to give you an idea uh, any work related to sprint then it is the sole responsibility by the development team and any work related to product backlog uh, for example optimizing the value of the products or rearranging or to create any new products in the product backlog is sole responsibility by the product owner the product owner may not sometimes will be able to create some items in the product backlog that time the development team including the scrum master can assist him in creating that but the sole responsibility remains with the product owner only so next uh, question is the scrum team should choose at least one high priority process improvement identified during the sprint retrospective and place it in the product backlog okay so this is uh, basically um, um, uh, there should be false actually uh, uh, so uh, let me explain this one okay the pro uh, as i described you the product backlog is basically uh, created by the product owner and the other team members can assist him helping out to understand the items and put it into the product backlog or also a uh, scrum master may help the product owner to rearrange the product backlog items but uh, any process uh, improvement or any work which can be treated as any another work in the sprint and the developer development team will uh, only solely responsible for analyzing that and put it into next sprint uh, but not in the product backlog okay and uh, uh, any process uh, improvement uh, related to the ongoing activities is treated uh, it cannot be treated as a separate product backlog okay unless it is defined and agreed by the entire team so the answer is here false the product backlog is ordered by uh, still the questions is uh, related to the product owners uh, suggestions he only will be deemed uh, and so the answer is here b uh, he would actually um, recommend how the product backlog order as item should be ordered and so in the previous um, questions also i described the product backlog is basically the skeleton uh, of the pro uh, projects and it's never ending it keeps updating um, okay and here the product owner is sole responsible uh, ordering creating the product backlog items okay and he will only order it the next question uh, what is required to attend uh, who is required to attend the daily scrum so here sometimes we may feel that every team um, members including the uh, scrum master should uh, attend the call every day but it is not mandatory because the scrum master roles is actually partial um, he may be involved in other projects as well so it is not a full-time role uh, the scrum master is not required or the product owner is not required to attend the daily scrum call but the development team should or must uh, attend the um, scrum call every day the next question is uh, when the multiple teams work together on the same product each team should maintain a separate product backlog uh, my dear friend this is actually false uh, the product backlog always should remain same and single not saying it's it should be single so if you uh, if the, if a product 
um, maintains a different product backlog for each different teams the at the end uh, the product may look different and may not have consistency with what actually stakeholders or the product owner wants to build the product okay so in order to have a consistency it is strictly ruled in scrum that it should uh, maintain a single product backlog even if there are multiple teams working on that project but here just i wanted to add the if each different teams may may have their different sprint planning or sprint backlog but the product backlog will remain single next question is it is mandatory that a uh, product increment be released to production at the end of each sprint so i already uh, discussed this thing uh, it is not mandatory to uh, release any increment uh, for any particular sprints uh, at the end of each sprints it is uh, the sole uh, responsible or i mean the decisions taken by the product owner and the stakeholders whether they feel like it should be released into the market or not when does a development team members become a sole owner of spin backlog items so here is very important questions uh, in a scrum nobody is responsible for a particular items uh, permanently everyone is responsible for um, every items and if someone is stuck stuck up with some items the other team members will come uh, forward to help him out to resolve that so the own something is not an uh, concept in scrum uh, everyone will help each other to grow the projects grow their value grow their skills uh, so this is the main uh, property of scrum uh, and last i would like to show you some focus area uh, once you are attending the questions answers always focus on uh, this category okay so while you are reading uh, the actual guideline then you need to look at this uh, focus area because the questions will be arranged as per this uh, category for example facilitations done so while you are reading put emphasis on what is done okay and there might have some couple of questions under this category then leadership styles self-organizing teams by seeing the words i think you uh, understand that what does it refer to roles product backlog management events infirisms product value artifacts coaching and mentoring forecasting and releasing planning stakeholders and customers so best of luck my friends if you uh, go through this uh, manuals and tips and just comment it here if you need more information just please comment uh, in this um, youtube video and uh, if you feel that it needs to uh, describe uh, the uh, manuals in details i can also help you out on that so, so all the best